The glue used is the copy Dex solvent free glue made here in the UK by Henkel. Cable will be used for the contacts. The red cable is solid. The black cable is made of many individual strands. The base used for the glue is a folded sheet of kitchen towel. After one hour, a skin has formed on the glue. I take a voltage measurement, and it shows around 42 milliamps. The voltage increases slowly as can be seen. I eventually stop the reading when the voltage reached 45 milliamps and rising. This took 54 seconds. This part of the video was speeded up. I then took a resistance reading. This started at 57 kilo ohms and started to rise. I stopped when the reading reached 183 kilo ohms after 2 minutes 12 seconds. Again. I speeded the video up. Please excuse the bad camera work. This is due to me using an iPod Nano, which is not the easiest device to hold. The glue has now had time to dry, so we can do some more testing. Directly after I made the wire glue battery, I made another using a paper clip which is normally made from galvanized steel, and a nail probably coated with zinc. I will start with the wire glue battery. As you can see, there is a slow decline in voltage as time passes. Eventually, it will find a spot and stay at that voltage. Now I connect the nail glue battery to a scope to give a reading. As you can see, the voltage also declines but at a faster rate. Here too, eventually the voltage will settle at a certain level. Now if you look at the scope reading, you will see that the level reaches 97 millivolts and starts to slowly climb. Five minutes later, it is back up to 126 millivolts. Where is this sudden energy coming from? My conclusion was that it is from the light and possibly from heat. Next I decided shine a torch onto the zinc nail glue battery. I held the torch about one foot from the battery so that there was no possibility of heat influence. As can be seen, each time the torch is on, the voltage rises. Each time it is off, the voltage falls. So light does have an effect on the voltage.
I then decided to enclose the battery inside a box, and cover the box with a towel so no light could get in. As you can see, the voltage dropped as it always does, but started to rise again from 173 millivolts. A few minutes later it reached 188, which is when I stopped. I then went outside into the garden to see what would happen in the sun. At first, I kept the battery inside the box and covered with the black towel. When the voltage had dropped to 178, as expected, it started to rise again. This really is a mystery. I then remove the battery from the box to expose it to the sun. The voltage now started to rise quite fast. I stopped when it reached 237 millivolts. Please note, I speeded up the video in places while watching the reading. After doing this experiment, I also did the same, but this time using heat instead of light. The result was the same. Heat made the voltage rise quite quickly. I also measured the ohms resistance in both batteries. The wire battery was 420K and the zinc nail battery was 470k. Unfortunately, I was not able to record this for you to see.